I found a used Outback FlexMax 80 charge controller on eBay and I just figured that's eh, a pretty good price. Let's pick it up. Now I didn't expect it to be incredibly dirty. There's a lot of dirt daubers in there. <laughs> And uh, I mean, look at the inside of the case. I guess I should have known with the dirt dauber nest on the front. I guess that's kind of a testament of how solid this thing might be because it works perfectly fine, or it seems to be working perfectly fine. And if we look at the date code, it's manufactured Q4 of 14. So we're talking eight, nine years. You know, so if this thing is, <laughs> gone that many years with this much dirt in it uh, clearly it was working every day for that amount of time I blew this out uh, but it had a lot more dirt caked in there um, that's I guess that's kind of a testament of maybe how good these things are now check this out look at the size of those inductors Two ginormous inductors there and this is as, pretty much as far as I can tear it down I could actually tear it down further but these MOSFETs right here um, this hunk of metal is part of the cast of the front piece so the front part is like a giant heat sink and I took off the little retainer that was there holding the MOSFETs against that and there's but there's a um, there's a strip in between that I believe serves as both a thermal transfer material uh, or thermal interface material and a electrical isolation they're kind of stuck on there and I don't want to break that bond because I really need a new one of these to replace it after I do that so I'm gonna leave it alone and uh, that's as far as I'm gonna tear it down but I did fire it up and it does indeed work uh, so let's fire it up so I'm gonna hook it up to this Felicity battery box here and it powers up and in case you guys didn't know to reset this device if you want to change it change the voltage or something like that or just reset it to default you hold these two buttons and then power the unit up and then it'll start fresh and then you can select 12 24 36 48 and i think 60 volt all right so let's plug in some solar we don't have a lot of sun out today unfortunately there we go it's tracking oh, it's in mppt bulk mode Looks like we're putting out 18.4 amps. Um, why does it not? It'd be nice if it actually showed us watts. Does tell us how much it made today. The password on these things is default to 141. Oh, you can clear the log. Yeah, this thing is an 80 amp. Um, I think the 60 amp might be the same, but the 80 amp has a fan up at the top that goes up here, which is what this little housing thing use, is used to cover. And uh, there's the fan. Uh, I think the big difference between a really high quality controller like this is, I mean, like there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. Yeah, 13 MOSFETs there for an 80 amp. And then this thing right here, which is it kind of this, has the styling look alike. It has two MOSFETs <laughs> for the conversion. And the, it does have inductors in there, but they're, they pale in comparison. They're, they're tiny compared to these massive boys right here. If it takes this 
kind of equipment to, to build a very high quality unit and you're doing it with a fraction of this these components you know come on that something just doesn't add up but yeah it's very surprising how caked this thing on the inside was with with dirt and really just du this dirt dauber stuff you know they, they fly this mud in and they make nest and it's still working all right i think i'm gonna clean this thing up some more and uh, reassemble it all right and there it is in its fully assembled glorious form very long so yeah of course uh i got it to replace this thing i think i'm gonna end up having to move some of this stuff down a little bit to get it to fit but that's where it's going to go and uh, i don't think i'm going to install it today i've got some other things that i need to take care of so i'll do another video of installing it and probably finishing up wiring the rest of these batteries into the shelf uh, we don't have any sun out there anyway so we're not even gonna see this thing really producing a whole lot did you guys actually think i was gonna let you down all right so i waited for a sunny day before i, I finished the video and uh we are screaming right along here uh, we are pumping in 80 amps into this battery right here it uh it says 77 and a half on this screen but uh well we're at 79.7 here we were just at 80 on this there it is 80. this thing is just beast i did go ahead and actually add one more panel in to my little solar array here just so we can make sure we could push that 80 amps i'm gonna cool these bad boys off Maybe we can get over 80. Because it's kind of weird that it says 77 and a half on the controller screen. It thinks it's not pushing its max yet. Oh, we got 76.8, 76.9 here. Oh. 78.9 here. Okay, well, cooling it off even more didn't really help it. <laughs> okay, whatever. We saw it pushing 80 amps on this thing, so we'll call it good. But anyways, that's going to be the end of the video, and I'll catch you guys on the next one.